Hi dear children how are you all are you safe at home now we are discussing our 7th chapter right what is the name of our chapter yes as told us wait and we are at the end portion of our chapter say children what we studied in our last class yes we discussed about the points that we have to taken care while writing the detailed report of an experiment okay shall we start our today section dear children did you like the smell of jasmine flower did you think how do we get the smell of these flowers which organ help us to identify the smell yes nose help us to identify the smell of things today we are going to study about the topic sensing the smell we all know that nose is the sense organ which help us to identify the smell of things then how does this happen that we have to study for this also we have to do an experiment that is given in your textbook of page number 80 to do this experiment we need the things like incense stick a glass tumbler and a cardboard Do you know what is incense stick? Yes, it is a substance which releases fragrant smoke when it is burned. How we can do this experiment? Yes, first we have to lit the incense stick and place the incense stick inside the glass tumbler and cover the glass with a cardboard. After some time, raise the cardboard. We get the smell of incense stick do you know how we experience the smell of incense stick yes when the cardboard is raised the smoke from the glass comes up and the smoke mixes with the air and spreads all around thus we get the smell of incense stick okay children did you understand okay So now we are going to study an experiment to prove that air has weight. For this first we have to take a long stick then hang a big balloon at one end and a paper cup at the other end of the stick. Then tie a thread in the middle of the stick and hang it like a balance as shown in the picture. If air is blown into the balloon what happens to the balance Yes the part where the balloon is hung went down So in order to balance the weight we have to add some pea seeds to the cup So what we can understand from this experiment Yes air has weight Okay dears did you understand Okay shall we move on to our last topic in this chapter Okay our last topic is power of the wind Dear children did you see the picture in your textbook Yes a girl is running with katadi in her hands right Do you know why does the katadi spins Yes when runs with the katadi in the hand the katadi spins We know that moving air is called wind. So this katadi spins as the moving air strikes on katadi with force. So from this we can understand that air has power. Have you seen this windmill? This windmill also looks like a katadi, right? Here also the wings of the katadi turn about when the wind strikes on them and the energy from the katadis is used to work the generators attached to them and these generators helps to produce electricity here electricity is produced as a result of the power of wind this yacht is also given in your textbook 
it is a water transport device used in olden days these yachts are moved when strong wind strikes on the sails and no other fuel is used for the movement of these yachts from all these we can understand that moving air is called wind and air has power so in this chapter we studied about the three forms of matter right which are they yes solids liquids and gas besides the solid liquid and gaseous state matter has some other states do you know what is it yes plasma plasma is a type of matter it is made up of groups of positively and negatively charged particles fire and lightning are the examples of plasma state of matter okay children now we finished our seventh chapter as stone as wind so it's time for doing the activity it is given in your textbook of page number 82 you have to complete the given table objects are given in the table you have to identify the properties of given objects and write down the state of each will you do it okay dears it's time for winding up thank you